His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree No. 72 of 2015, designating the minister responsible for urban planning affairs as the relevant minister, having jurisdiction to enforce the provisions of Decree by Law No. 25 of 2015 regarding the levying of infrastructure development and construction costs in urban areas. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace in the attendance of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, a number of officers of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, the RBNF Frigate Sabha, marking their return to the kingdom after taking part in the operation Restoring Hope in Yemen. His Majesty welcomed the officers and directed them to convey his greetings to all Sabha crew, hailing their remarkable role in defending legitimacy in Yemen and their efforts regarding maintaining regional security. His Majesty expressed appreciation for their bravery and dedication while performing their national duty in addition to their humanitarian duties of securing the international navigation in Aden, as well as their participation in de delivering humanitarian and medical assistance in cooperation with the Royal Charity Organization to the Yemeni people. His Majesty highlighted their efforts alongside the Arab coalition in maintaining regional peace and security and fighting piracy. His Majesty the King wished BDF officers success in performing their national duty. Then Lieutenant Nawaf Al Mahmoud delivered the poem. وحي أرضي يوم قطف البوح بوصاف وشعور ودامنا في حضرة اللي خطوة هدايم أمام واجبني أقطف المعنى مثل قطف الزهور ودام صبحة عودت للدار في خير وسلام لي مع الشعر المقفى موقف شان وحضور لك سلامي سيدي بعداد قطرات الغمام عد ما تتابع أمور الدار تتفقد تزور عد ما تهيض عزايمنا على سل الحسام وتملي صدور الرجال قدام والوقعة تدور أنت أنت شمس فوق أرض الدار تضوي ما تنام وكلنا والدار من كثر الغلا حولك ندور والشرف لي سيدي اني امثل هالانام والشرف لي سيدي اني امثل هالانام وافتخر اني امامك مثل ما غيري فخور لك هنا لك هنا يا سيدي طاقم نذر نفسه قام قال هيا للقتال وشد في الامواج سور يتبع امرك ونهجك توصياتك باهتمام وثبت أركان الأمان بعزم في قاع البحور كلنا كلنا يا سيدي وقت اللقاء والاحتدام درع لحدود الخليج ونمتلك في الحرب دور ومن على بحر العرب ومن على بحر العرب مدت لها صبحة سلام يا سلام الله على أرض الحضارة والسرور لجلها نفزع بعد ما باعها أهل الحرام والشعب برض اليمن ما يرتضي ذل وجور ومن غدر ومن غدر في جار أرضه تحضن البيت الحرام ويحسب إن الأمر هين واكتسى كبر وغرور لزمي القاله رجال تجعل أركان حطام ترجع الحق الهلة من بعد عدوان وشرور 
وما بعد وما بعد حزن اليمن الا الفرح بعد الظلام والجراح بتلتئم وبتنجبر كل الكسور يا مليك الدار جيشك فرخا برد وئام وفلوغا نيران تكوي جمرها ويل ثبور ذا قسمنا والقسم ما يقبل في يوم انقسام له نذرنا عمرنا لجل الوطن طول الدهور رهن أمرك سيدي يطود يلفذ الهمام يلي من فكرك غدا لبلادنا جيش جسور وطاقم الفرقاطة صبحة حمل ابنك في الختام كلمة يا سيدي بقولها بصدك شعور والله إن رواحنا لجل الوطن يوم الزحام ترخص برقه يبقى للوطن مش على ونور ترخص برقه يبقى للفخر مش على ونور سلامتك بقى. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace members of the Yatim family. His Majesty praised the God Almighty to rest the soul of Hussein bin Ali Yatim in eternal peace and underlined his remarkable contribution in the development of the kingdom's economic and trade fields. His Majesty hailed Bahraini family's role in supporting the economic and investments move in the kingdom in addition to their honorable patriotic stances. Members of the Yatim family expressed their thanks appreciation to His Majesty the King, wishing him abundant health and happiness to Bahrain, further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a decree number 62 for this year, forming a committee to evaluate the cost of infrastructure. The committee will be chaired by the Under Secretary of the Transport and Communication for Land Transport and Mail, with the membership of relevant authorities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa opened today the Chinese Dragon City project at Diyar al Muharraq. Dragon City, Bahrain's very own $100 million Chinatown, and a major retail project offers unique wholesale and retail opportunities to local consumers, trade customers, and tourists. Spread over a total land area of 115,000 square meters, with a built up area of 56,000 square meters, the retail development encompasses Dragon Mall and a themed dining village. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said the project is the fruit of excellent cooperation between the Kingdom and China and the result of Bahrain's good reputation as a successful investment environment. The Prime Minister toured the newly opened project, which includes 360 commercial units that meets the demands of the local and Gulf markets. He stressed that establishing such a major investment project reflects the investors' trust in the strength of the Bahraini economy and reinforced the Kingdom's competitive abilities in attracting more capability, more capitals, which goes in line with the government's strategy to diversify sources of income. Diyar Muharraq Chairman Abdul Hakim Al Khayyab expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for opening Dragon City. He also commended the constant support to all developmental projects across the kingdom, highlighting the Prime Minister's directives to facilitate the work of the private sector and encourage more projects that serve the national economy.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qudaybiyya Palace today Shura Council Member and President of the National Institution for Human Rights, the NIHR, Dr. Abdul Aziz Abul, and NIHR board members who presented His Royal Highness the institution's annual report. His Royal Highness commended the national competences working in the human rights field and their role in defending Bahrain and protecting its honorable legal reputation. The Prime Minister hailed the role of NIHR in reinforcing human rights in Bahrain, praising its efforts in preparing the annual report which documents the reality of human rights in the kingdom and its efforts and achievements. He confirmed Bahrain's pride in its outstanding legal reputation based on modern and advanced laws and constitutional provisions that reflect Bahrain's characteristics of coexistence and diversity. He stressed that all the government's developmental programs consider human rights as a top priority to preserve the dignity of the people and their rights of a safe living. For his part, Dr. Abul expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, for his support to NIHR in order for it to perform its duties and message in developing the reinforcing and protecting human rights in addition to raising awareness. He pointed out that the support provided to the institution encourages its staff to move forward with its role to consolidate human rights. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qutaybiyya Palace City the outgoing South Korean ambassador to Bahrain, John Hayu. His Royal Highness noted the developments in Bahraini South Korean relations and the prospering commercial and economic cooperation between the two countries. He welcomed the level of cooperation and coordination in regards to regional and international issues, as well as the role of the South Korean Prime Minister's visit to Bahrain in line with supporting bilateral relations. The Prime Minister also commended the outgoing South Korean ambassador role in supporting and reinforcing friendship and cooperation between the two countries. For his part, the ambassador expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his keenness to expand fields of joint cooperation which facilitated his diplomatic mission in the kingdom. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to bag more titles and feats from participation in the International Mixed Martial Arts Championships as a professional MMA fighter James Callagher from Khalid bin Hamad team, the KHK MMA, has won the title of Chaos 15 Championship for professional MMA fighters, beating fighter Dickie McLennan in the first round of the main fray in the championship hosted in Derry City, Northern Ireland. On this occasion, the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for of Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on this accomplishment. His Highness said that the Bahraini mixed martial arts game will continue to achieve more accomplishments thanks to the royal patronage for the youth and sports sector, which will boost the kingdom's sports revival and its advancement. His Highness also congratulated the government led by His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and first deputy premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their unlimited support to the youth and sports sector through the implementation of numerous vital projects that contribute in the constant process of building and development of this important sector. His Highness lauded the outstanding efforts exerted by the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, in translating the vision and directives of His Majesty the King for the continuous comprehensive developmental process through the initiatives, plans and programs laid down by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad that contribute in achievement of the goals and aspirations for the development 
improvements and advancements of Bahraini sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamadeh commended the professional performance and the high level attained by professional MMA fighter James Gallagher from KHK MMA team, who accomplished this spectacular result to be added to the record of achievements by the Bahraini sports at various functions. He also thanked the technical and administrative crews for preparing the winning fighter in the best way to successfully participate in this championship and achieve such honorable results for the kingdom. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired the Council's weekly meeting today in which the Council referred a draft law regarding housing to the Public Utilities and Environment Committee for future study. The, the Council discussed a report of the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee regarding a draft law of agreement between Bahrain's government and the government of Cyprus on double taxation. The Council also approved a draft law regarding air services agreement between Bahrain and Cyprus. Good evening and welcome to Sports News on Bahrain Television. Starting with the local sports news, Muharraq claimed an important 2 0 win against Al Ahli in one of the most anticipated games of the Bahrain First Division Football League last night at the Bahrain National Stadium. Muharraq took the lead in the 14th minute after Ali Jamal netted his shot on top of Al Ahli's goal. Ex international Bahraini midfielder Mohamed Salmin was the man of the moment by setting up the second goal after brilliantly assisting Ahmed Abid. The win sees Muharraq sit comfortably in the second place with 16 points from 9 games, 5 points behind league leaders Al Hid, while Al Ahli dropped to 6 with 11 points from the same number of games. In other games, Malkia overcame Rafah 2-1 at the Bahrain National Stadium. Rafah scored the first goal through Musa Nari in the 28th minute, while Malkia quickly grabbed the equalizer 12th minute by Sayyid Hashim Isa, and the second goal was scored by Isa al -Birri in the 17th minute. Malkia are now sitting in the 4th place with 13 points after 9 rounds, while Rafah fall to 8th place with 10 points.